Hey, how's it going? Nat here. Let's check out what's been making news. When was the last time you saw live music or went to the theatre? Yeah, it's been a while. COVID-19 has hit Aussie arts and entertainment in a pretty big way. Now the federal government's announced it's giving $250 million to help the industry out. Here's Leela. The show must go on. Well, except in the middle of a global pandemic. Hello? Anyone? The Australian arts industry employs more than 600,000 Australians. But COVID-19 has left most of them without work. They haven't been able to film, perform or hold art exhibitions. Many say they're not eligible for government support and for months they've asked for help. This industry, our industry, works in very unique ways and we're trying to address that and let you know what we need. We are the voice. We are your voice. Today, the government announced the arts sector will get access to $250 million worth of grants and loans. Now it's about the way back. Now it's about ensuring that we can get the show back on the road and the workers back into the jobs. The money will go towards things like festivals, concerts, supporting artists and new projects. But many say for an industry that's worth $112 billion, it's not enough and thousands of workers still won't be able to get government support. For now though, it's some much needed money. For an industry that just wants the show to go on. Hello, anyone there now? We're sticking with the arts now because the world's most famous museum, the Louvre, is set to reopen after being shut for four months. From the 6th of July, people will be allowed back to the place that's home to the world's most famous portrait, the Mona Lisa. Also, the world's most famous line, to see a portrait. Around 30,000 people visit Da Vinci's masterpiece every day, but visitors can expect to see smaller crowds, a lot more hand sanitizer, and social distancing. Now to sport. And wheelchair tennis is back on at the US Open. Here's Charlotte. Yep, US Open organisers have done a big time U-turn, announcing wheelchair tennis is back in the comp. Last week they caused a lot of controversy when they said it had been dropped as part of new COVID-19 measures, and Aussie superstar Dylan Alcott was pretty upset about it. That to me is discrimination, and people make decisions on our behalf without asking us questions. It sparked a massive campaign around the world, and Dylan's super happy they've changed their minds. It's an exciting time for Liverpool fans. A 30-year wait for a Premier League title could soon be over. The Reds smashed Crystal Palace 4-0, putting them within one game of a historic league win. The attitude we showed tonight, the passion we showed, um, was exceptional. And we played some outstanding football. And if you're afraid of heights, then it might be a good time to look away. Swiss acrobat Freddie Nock broke three world records as he walked blindfolded and rode a bike on a tightrope, all at an altitude of 3,000 metres. He said he wanted to draw attention to how performance artists are struggling during COVID-19 and brought a couple of his mates along to add to the excitement of it all. All right, things in life can get pretty awkward at times, but sometimes it's best to just keep on smiling. Who needs a regular face mask when you can have a smiling, distorted version looking back at you? Well, that's what this guy in Belgium figured anyway. So, smiling mask is about to uh, give the opportunity to people to wear a mask that actually uh, enables them to vehicle some emotions. This is just one of those ideas I sort of love and hate at the same time. What in the name of ruined restorations is this? Well, uh, a ruined restoration. An art collector in Spain paid someone nearly $2,000 to have this painting by a 15th century artist restored. Except things clearly didn't go to plan because while I'm no expert, that doesn't quite look right to me. The smiling faces of 40,000 Manchester United fans from more than 190 countries have been welcomed back into the stands of the Old Trafford Stadium. In photo form, obviously. While they couldn't exactly cheer their team on, their smiling faces seemed to help get the team over the line. Man United beat Sheffield United 3-0. That's all the news for today. We'll be back again tomorrow. In the meantime, why don't you hit like and subscribe if you want to stay up to date on all the future videos we make.